Now today lecture is Green Theorem. It states that the Dubbin integral over a plane region may be transformed into line integrals over the boundary of the region and conversely this transformation can be done by the following theorem. This theorem said that if we have a, a region R be the closed boundary region in xy plane whose boundary C consists of finitely many smooth curves. We have a region R. This region R consists of finitely many smooth curves. Now we consider two curves inside this boundary that F1 is F1 xy and other curve is F2 xy be the functions that are continuous and have continuous partial derivatives partial f1 over partial y and partial f2 over partial x. Everywhere in some domain containing r then the double integral over r partial f2 over partial x minus partial f1 over partial y dx dy equal to the integral over c f1 dx plus f2 dy. So this is the main condition of the Green's theorem. Now to understand the basic of this Green's theorem, we do an exercise question 1, evaluate the line integral by Green's theorem, evaluate integral C F R D R counterclockwise around the boundary curve C of the region R where f equal to 1 by 2 x y 4 and 1 by 2 x 4 y. This is a function we have to integrate over the region R. The region R be the rectangle with vertices 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 2 and 3, 2. And first we form the circuit. This is our region. This consists of the rectangle. We consider this point A 0, 0 and this is B 3, 0 and this point is C 3, 2 and this point is 0. Now the function is f 1 by 2 x y 4 and 1 by 2 x 4 y. Consider this is function as f 1 and this as f 2. f 1 is equal to 1 by 2 x y 4 and f 2 equal to 1 by 2 x 4 y. We partially differentiate f 1 with respect to y. This become 2 x y cube and we partially differentiate f 2 with respect to x. This become 2 x cube y. By Green's theorem, the integral over the curve C F D R equal to double integral over R partial F2 over partial X minus partial F1 over partial Y into D A. This is equal to. Now we consider we see that along X axis our limit is from 0 to 3 and on Y axis our limit is from 0 to 2. This is value of partial F2 over partial X and this is value of partial F2 over partial y dy into dx. After integration with respect to y we get the z this and then applying the limit from 0 to 2. First we put the value of the upper limit which is 2 here this point 2 square and this is 2 raised to the power 4 upper limit minus the lower limit and we simplify this term. Now integrate with respect to x. This become x4 by 4 and this become x square by 2 and after applying the limit, upper limit, here we put 3, it become 3 raised to the power 4 and 3 square minus 0, lower limit, this become after simplification, this is 45. This is the answer of the value. Now in question 2, evaluate the integral f equal to y sin x and 2x cos y where r be the square with vertices, our contour is the square with vertices 0, 0, pi by 2, 0, pi by 2, pi by 2, 0 and pi by 2. So this is the point 0, 0 and this is b pi by 2, 0 and this is c pi by 2, pi by 2 and this is d 0 and pi by 2. So we write the integral over the contour C f of r into dr. Let us consider y1 is f1 equal to y sin x and f2 equal to 
टू एक्स इंटू कॉस वाई पास एफ वन और पास वाई टू साइन एक्स एंड पास एफ टू पास एक्स इक्वल टू टू कॉस वाई द इंटीग्रल सी एफ ऑफ आर डी आर इक्वल टू द इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम जीरो टू फाइव बाई टू एंड जीरो टू फाइव बाई टू पास एफ टू और पास एक्स माइनस पास एफ फोर पास वाई डी वाई इंटू डी एक्स वी पुट दी वैल्यू पास एफ टू और पास एक्स and this is value of partial f1 over partial y now we integrate first with respect to y this term become constant the integral of cos y is sin y and integral of sin x is constant so the integral of sin x with respect to y is sin x into y to so apply the limit upper limit minus lower the upper limit is pi by 2 so this become 2 sin pi by 2 and minus sin x into pi by 2 Lower limit is zero, sine zero is zero, and when this term is zero, whole the z become zero. Sine pi by two is one, so this become two. And pi by two into sine x. Now again we integrate this with respect to x. The integral of two is two x, and integral of sine x is minus cos x. Now again apply the limit, upper limit minus lower limit. When this this x become pi by two and s become pi by two. This become two into pi by two plus pi by two cos of pi by two minus lower limit zero, two into zero plus pi by two cos into zero, and this become pi, and this become zero, and this is one into pi by two that is pi plus zero minus pi by two, and this have some equation pi by two. Now question three evaluate the integral f of r dr of the region where f equal to x cos hyperbolic y x k sin hyperbolic y over the region r the region is y less than equal to x and greater equal to x k now we separate it into two parts y equal to x k and y equal to x and by equating these two terms x k equal to x and write this in this form by taking x common x equal to zero and from here x equal to one. So, so we have the two points from uh, x equal to zero and x equal to one. Let f one is equal to x cos hyperbolic y. This is f one and this is f two. F one equal to x cos hyperbolic y. F two equal to x square sine hyperbolic y. Partial f one or partial y. We integrate. We differentiate this term with respect to y. This is x. And the uh, derivative of cos hyperbolic y is sine hyperbolic y, and we differentiate this term with respect to x. The derivative of x here is two x, and this term become constant. But by using this Green's theorem, now the integral from zero to one and other integral from x here to x. This is partial f one over partial x, and this is partial f two over partial y. We integrate. These two terms, and the value of this, 2x sine hyperbolic y into dy. First, we integrate this term. X, this become x cos hyperbolic y into dx, and this term we integrate from zero to one. S cos hyperbolic y minus x cos hyperbolic x square. We apply the here the apply the limit, upper limit minus lower limit. Now this become x sin hyperbolic x from zero to one minus derivative of x is one into sin hyperbolic x. Now applying the limit, here we put x equal to one. And the lower limit here we put x equal to zero. So this become minus one by two. We multiply and divide to evaluate this integral. We multiply and divide this term by two. This become two x and cos hyperbolic x square. Now this is called applying the limit. Here we put one, and here we put one, and lower limit becomes zero. And this term, this integral become one by two sine hyperbolic 
x square. This is the derivative of this function. So, the integral of whole this term is 1 by 2 sin hyperbolic x square. Now, this become sin hyperbolic 1 and by again applying the limit here we put 1, upper limit 1, lower limit 0 and again this term applying the limit, upper limit minus the lower limit, sin hyperbolic 1 minus sin hyperbolic 0. So, this become sin hyperbolic 1 and this is minus cos and this is become cos 0 is 1 minus and minus become plus 1 and this is minus 1 by 2 sin hyperbolic 1 and this becomes 0. So, solved simplification we have the term 1 by 2 sin hyperbolic 1 minus cos hyperbolic 1 and plus 1. Question 4 evaluate the integral f of r dr our region is 16 x square plus 25 y square less equal to 400 and y greater than 0. This function is given 2x minus 3y and x plus 5y. We consider this as by dividing by 400 and considering this equal to 1. After simplification, it become x square by 25, y square by 16 and this is the equation of the ellipse. Here we draw the ellipse. So, this is the semi major axis and this is the semi minor axis. Here this is 5 square. So, this is 5, this length is 5 and this is a 4 square and this term is 4. The semi major axis and semi minor axis. Now, we partially differentiate this f1 with respect to y, this become minus 3 and differentiate with respect to x, this become 1 by using this gain theorem, by putting the values of partial f2 over partial x, this is 1, partial f over partial y is minus 3, this become 4. Because this is 4, this constant term, take the integral, this term outside integral. Now, the integral of this term, 4 into a, this is the area of the region of the surface S. Now, the area of this surface S is 1 by 2 pi 5 into 4, this length 5 into 4 and this length into this length into pi into 1 by 2, this is the area of the region and this become 40 pi, this is the answer.